When it comes to dating and rules of relationships, times have surely changed. Anyone playing the dating game could probably use some tips. Nicole Mittendorf joining us with some guidance, some advice, fresh from her new book, yes. Who Pays? Yes. Good to have you here. Thanks. Thanks for having me. The conversation continues. Where are we in this? Yes. Well, still, it's traditional. On the first date, the man always pays. Now, some say that it's whoever asks out. So in same in like same sex relationships, whoever asks should be the one paying. But in the traditional relationship, the men should still always pay. On the first date. On the first date. Because if you're always letting somebody else pay, you look at like you're a cheapskate. Yes. <laughs> who, I wanted you to say it, but <laughs> that's who, exactly how it feels. Right. You know? And then yeah. who wants to date a cheapskate? You don't you don't want that. You also say you should always be prepared to pay. And I think Correct. that is a good idea. Correct. You you never want to assume. And it always in any relationship, in any capacity, it always comes down to communication, making sure that you're on the same page. So I love it when people ask beforehand so that you're setting that expectation. And you never should go beyond your means and beyond your abilities. So if someone says, hey, let's go out, and they're suggesting an expensive restaurant, maybe you say, you know what, I just, I really can't afford that. Or how about we, you know, especially the first date, how about we just meet for a cup of coffee or a tea? Right. So that you're staying within your budget, that if you are expected to pay, that you have the money, because you never want to go into debt for I it. I like that you said that, because the fact is, there are occasions, of course, you want to splurge, and that's a thing that you obviously, you know, make an Correct. allowance for there. Correct. Uh, staying within, uh, know what you want before going on the first date. And that's a bigger question there, is how did you do the research for this? Where did that come from? <laughs> uh, well, I yeah. started dating. Yeah. <laughs> and I had numerous <laughs> mini experiences, and there's so many stories in here. One, this didn't happen to me, but they went out on a first date, came time to pay. He hands over his phone, and he says, it's a Groupon. Yeah. And he's like, here, this is you know mine. It was a buy one, get one free. So this is taking care of mine. And he expected the waitress to have her pay. So obviously, there was not a second date. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's generally not recommended. You really want to make sure that you know your own financial situation first, know your own expectations before you get together with someone else. How a person it. handles money tells you a lot for the future. You, this is your living. Absolutely. You are advising people, but there are signs that are laid out. These breadcrumbs are laid out all right. along the way. You need to pay attention to them. Right. And you don't necessarily need to ask someone directly, what's your credit score? Yeah. But if you're hearing someone to talk about their goals, their living situation, their job situation, just watching. So if someone's in chaos and just frantic and always behind on things or their car needs maintenance, you can just watch all these because they're signs that Maybe that person is not necessarily the best in the, with their own finances. Fascinating. Where can people get Who Pays? NicoleMiddendorf.com. That's great. Thank you, as yes, always. Such good information you. there. Glad it's all turning out well for you. <laughs> you can find out these tips and more on this topic at Carol Levin under the app under the As Seen on TV section.